This means it now would have been nine years. Yo guys, what is up and welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be talking about a very interesting subject. How it's actually been nine years since we've seen any progress on a new ride or a new roller coaster at Thorpe Park. And to give you a bit of context of actually how long ago that was, I'm, I'm 16 right now and nine years ago I would have been seven. And just before we get into this video, I just want to remind you to actually subscribe to the channel and like the video because it helps out so much. And, you know, if you have not found me an annoying little shit, why not subscribe? It really does help out. So as I've said about it about ten times already, it's been nine years since we've had the swarm. Which is actually an extremely long amount of time when you think about it in terms of roller coasters and how long it takes to get a new roller coaster for a park. Some parks, they've had it, you know, way worse off. Parks have been waiting like 20 years back in like the US for a new ride. Or maybe just getting relocated rides. It could be worse out there. However, uh, yeah, as I said, it's been nine years since we've uh, got the swarm, which is, as I said, a long time. So I'm going to be looking why it's been such a long time since we've had the swarm and maybe looking about the different investments over the time and just saying why I think they've impacted about not contributing to a new roller coaster. So we start off with the swarm opening. Now the swarm opening, Fort Park, they were hoping for the swarm to be this next big thing, hence why they invested all this money into the theming and really just making it look good. However, the swarm did not bring in the attraction they really wanted to. Uh, they, uh, they, I don't even know why it didn't, it's a brilliant ride and it's probably one of the best rides in the park, in my opinion. However, if you don't believe that the Swarm is one of the best investments and the best roller coasters in the park, what's wrong with you? You don't need to put me on a, bur a burning stick, just like last video, and yes, that's a shameless plug, you just got plugged. <laughs> Gaddy! But of course, as I said, as I said, after 2013, we got some extra added bits to the Swarm billboard and we got Brave It Backwards. 2014, we got Angry Birds Land. Uh, Angry Birds Land, it wasn't even that good. Uh, it was good, it's a popular game at the time, but we got a Dodgems out of it, so who's, compla who's complaining? Who doesn't love Dodgems? 2015, I'm a celebrity, get me out of it. Shit. 2016, Darren Brown's Ghost Train. Flop. 2017, we got an X, new, a new X soundtrack. We, we thought times were looking brilliant for X. And then it got rethemed in 2018 to The Walking Dead. Um, uh, as I said, that's a, that's, that's a nice ride. Decent retheme. Who doesn't love actors at the end of a ride? 2019, the best year by far. Bouncilla. Don't need to say any more except one word. Wow! And Overall, uh, 2020, pandemic, lost a lot of money. Uh, so overall, really, which has contributed to slowing down the building of a new roller coaster at Thorpe Park? Probably the pandemic. Um, however, another big factor, the ghost trade, it was £30 million. Uh, and, they had, that's, and they had to upgrade it the next year for 2017. Um, and yeah, it was just, it just cost the park so much money. Um, and think about what you could have bought for thirty million pounds. By then, they could have could they could have invested that into a new roller coaster. Uh, think about what you can buy for thirty million pounds. You probably buy a Giga for thirty million pounds. However, they're like, oh yeah, scrap the ride. We need Darren Brown's bald head ghost train. Like, oh, but however. Uh, besides from absolutely, literally throwing that £30 million in the bin, um, yeah, Covid happened, pandemic, and as I said, those two factors, they've probably contributed the most for the delay of the new roller coaster at Thorpe Park. Now, another thing, maybe they have been thinking about problems, um, which is that Thorpe Park, then they're, they're running out of land, really, um, as I said, in 2015, Loggers Leap closed, so that obviously, uh, that obviously opened up a new space for a new ride. But up until then, uh, they were really struggling on land. I think they did have some planning permission. I mean, planning applications to build on the island behind the swarm. They said 
Roller Coaster 2 coming in 2016, which would have been great until Bald Head comes along and wants his ghost train. But remember, it's my ghost train. But yeah, as I said, um, they, you know, the park, they're having a bit of problems maybe with the, with the land, I'm not sure. Uh, if the land behind the swarm is actually good enough to build on, I'm assuming it is. It looks seems fine to me. Um, but uh, yeah, so you've come back to the end of the video, and yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. And if you're one of the new people who have just recently subscribed, hello there, welcome to the channel. I really do hope you enjoy this video, and hopefully you did not unsubscribe. But yeah, that's the end of the video. I've been Speckhead, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.